research. The ship will be equipped for research and investigation of the entire marine ecosystem. Most of the technology on board has been developed by world leading knowledge clusters in Norway. An independent scientific committee will evaluate and recommend research projects to pursue and ensure the highest level of scientific standards and research quality. An international advisory board will provide guidance and advice on how to develop the initiative further. A capacity of 60 scientists and 30 crew. Expedition. The ship has the range and equipment to make autonomous expeditions all around the globe to explore, document and collect. REV applies the polar code adopted by the International Maritime Organization for ships operating in Arctic and Antarctic conditions and can operate autonomously for 114 days. Capacity of 32 scientists, 28 passengers and 30 crew. The vessel. The vessel will be built to the highest standard, making it suitable for charter to private individuals, companies and institutions seeking to improve their awareness of the ocean. Capacity of 28 guests and 54 crew. Chartered activity will not interfere with research plans and income from any chartered activity will help fund the ship's research operations. Okay, so what are we looking at here? This is a vessel unlike any vessel that's come before it. This is a privately owned vessel that's going to be built to super yacht standards and yet it's going to be used for research and exploration. So um, the owner has dedicated a, a large proportion of his money towards this vessel. And th this is something that I get a lot of comments about on my channel. Um, a lot of people, when they look at the videos that I produce, they always say, oh, just think how many, how many people they could help if they gave that money to charity, etc." Well, here's a, here's a gentleman who is doing something better than that. His vessel will be looking at ways to recover the damage that the human race has done to the oceans. The future owner who is using a large amount of his fortune to build this vessel said, I am a fisherman and curious by nature. Resources in the oceans and on the seabed have provided significant value for society and also for my family and myself. For this, I am very grateful. It will, however, as I said, be built to super yacht standards. It will be a privately owned ve vessel that can be used for recreational purposes. I think it's fair to say that this will be a super yacht. It certainly is super. Uh, let's look at the dimensions. So the dimensions of this, 182.9 meters. That is longer than Assam. Assam is the longest super yacht in the world. Dilbar is the most voluminous super yacht in the world. And this will be uh, longer and more voluminous than both of those vessels so this that will make this the largest super yacht in the world let's have a look at some other features so basically the capacity will be in a research setup will be 30 crew and 60 scientists in expedition setup 30 crew 24 scientists and 36 passengers and the vessel in general will have a crew of 54 and can have 36 guests so that's in super yacht stand, standard um, more crew than guests is the norm. So some of the features of this vessel, autonomy, this actually has a range of 21,120 nautical miles at 11 knots, which means it can actually circumnavigate the globe without refueling. So I don't know of any other vessel that does that, certainly not a super yacht. It can store enough food, enough stores for 90 persons for 114 days, for longer trips, extra stores can be provided in reefer containers on deck at 20 additional days per container fully loaded. Okay, let's look at some of the features. The main hangar has a monopool, a seven meter uh, by five meter opening through the hull will allow direct access to the water below. Overside launching, pretty standard, but that is a big area. Overhead, overhead cranes can lift and launch equipment up to 20 tons over the side. It also has laboratories on board. Several laboratories will be equipped for different types of research with all the equipment needed for a broad range of scientific investigations. Environmental research lab, aerosol lab, refrigerated lab, wet labs, dry labs, teaching lab. It also has a, an aft crane. It also has a hospital with medic cabin. 
Okay, that's all for now. I'm hoping this is the first video of many on this exciting new build. Hopefully I'll be able to follow up with some actual footage, although it's still in its first year of build. The yacht is set to be ready in 2021. So anyway, stay tuned for more to come.